In this video, I will be getting the Attack on Titan Platinum Trophy. Strap yourselves in, lads. This one gets insane. So since Attack on Titan, the final season, part three, special edition, the final, final chapter, we promised this time, is over, and now I have to pretend my life has meaning again, I thought, why not Platinum the game adaptation? <laughs> It'll be simple, right? So first, you have to beat the game three times, S-ranking all the missions, completing every single side mission, completing all the requests in the game, 81 of them in total, and then craft every single damn item in this game. This Platinum took me well over 100 hours, and you will learn why shortly. However, even though it took me over 100 hours... I regret so the game starts off at the beginning of the series, briefly explaining that humanity is on the brink of extinction due to the looming threat of the Titans, with the three walls of Maria, Rose, and Cena protecting them from the Titans until one day... The big man himself. The colossal titan breaks through wall Maria and the titans flood the city. Our main character, of course, Eren Jaeger, his mother is eaten by the titan and then he swears to kill them all. Two years after the colossal titans attack, Eren, Mikasa and Armin enroll in the 104th Cadet Corps. And we also see some characters that we will get to know very well throughout this game. And after destroying the most limbs out of the entire group, we pop our first trophy of the game. Pop performer. Eren Yiga. <laughs> and fun fact, all the trophies are actually quotes from the anime, with the trophy image correlating to who said it, which is a nice touch. After a brief argument between Eren and Jean, Eren confesses that he wants to join the scouts in order to take down all the titans. After beating the mission, we get our first S rank of the game, and we get a trophy. Now it's time for graduation. We learn of the different regiments and what they mean. We have the garrison regiment, who looks after the towns and looks after the walls. The scout regiment, who goes over the walls, to battle the titans and then the military police who maintains order for the most part Aaron and john have an argument with Aaron pointing out the stupidity with john finishing in the top 10 of his class to then become part of the military police thus staying inside the walls away from the titans but then after speaking to armin we learn the backstory of why Aaron wants to join the scouts and once again we are shown what happened to Eren's mother. After that, we get our first look into the armory where we buy our blades, ODM gear, and more. And trust me, we will be here so many times throughout this damn game. We purchase our first blade and pop a trophy. Upon starting the next mission, we appear on top of the wall, preparing some defenses for a potential Titan attack. Eren's going through his monologue of how humanity is starting to push back against the Titans, and then... Oh, so cool. <laughs> After the Colossal Titan breaks through the wall, Eren starts to get flashbacks about that fateful day, but this time it's different. Humanity is ready for them this time. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it looks so good. After messing up on this slash and getting another trophy and hoping we find the Colossal Titan on OnlyFans, we then learn about healing and the, the bullet time-like dodge that we will be doing when, once we're near death. Trust me, on true attack mode, the hardest difficulty, you'll be seeing this blue light a lot. Then after Eren does his best Levi fidget spinner impression, we get to see the recreation of that iconic shot with Eren and the Colossal Titan. Oh, so <laughs> freaking cool. Ah, remember the good old days when we thought the Colossal Titan was the big boss monster of the Titans? Good times. Then at the top of the wall, we feed the Colossal Titan some cannonballs, and that somehow puts him down. After seemingly getting the upper hand on the Colossal, Eren goes to strike the nape to try and take him down. He's gone. And then upon completing that mission, we unlock another trophy. Upon starting the next mission, we meet up with Armin and pop the next trophy. Finally, I can be useful. <laughs> While progressing through this mission, an abnormal springs out of nowhere and devours Thomas. And Eren was just having none of it. Eren, fueled by rage, chases after the Titan until... Then as Armin just watches his entire team just get eaten, Mr. Good Old Santa Claus appears. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Eren, fueled by adrenaline, leaps into the mouth of a titan in order to save his friend, throws him out, and just you expect him to get out as well, but sadly not. 
And now it's time to play as Mikasa, not knowing the fate of Eren. This game doesn't really show off the relationship between Eren and Mikasa too well, so we'll just have to go with it for now. While going through this mission, we pop a trophy for using the ODM gear without touching the floor for a minute. And then we pop another trophy for saving an individual from getting eaten. Then towards the end of the mission, Mikasa is cornered by two titans, gas empty and blades dull, seemingly ready to admit defeat, but then remembers Eren saying the words fight. Makes her get up, fight till the bitter end, and then... <laughs> another titan is killing other titans. And we get another S rank. Entering the next mission, we see this very suspicious titan going absolutely ham on the other titans. We meet up with Connie and Armin in order to gain back some of our supplies. Now, with the help of that mysterious titan, we now need to take down all of the titans that are attacking our base in order to resupply. After killing a few of them, we pop a trophy for killing 10 titans in a mission. After the mysterious titan helps out the relief team, Mikasa and Co. finally meet up with Jean. Now time for, at the start, my favorite mission in the game. Even if, by the end of doing this Platinum, I'll have done this mission like 60 times. Holy shit, I get to play as Eren! We pop two trophies in this mission, one for killing a Titan with Titan Eren, and then killing 10 Titans in one minute. After the mission, it seems like the Titan just falls down and dies, but there's more here than meets the eye. Then after Eren is revealed to be the Titan Shifter, everyone is, I think, reasonably a little bit frightened of him. So much so that a cannon is ordered to fire down on him, but Eren just has none of it. After Eren blocks the shot, Armin tries to reason with him, but is unsuccessful and another cannon was about to be ordered down until Pixis comes in to save the day. Armin has a conversation with Pixis about potentially retaking the city by having Eren pick up the massive boulder that got left by the armor titan and then sealing the hole in the wall. Now playing as Armin, he plays a lot differently to other characters since if you know the show, I'm sure you can imagine, he's the brains behind everything and his main strength is having his allies do his fighting for him since, he, of course, he doesn't do much damage with his attacks. We arrive at the boulder and need to clear the titans away from the boulder for Eren to come pick it up. Eren arrives at the boulder and does his signature transformation. Even if the game doesn't do any of these transformations justice, they're still cool to look at. Though after his transformation, Transformation. Something just doesn't seem right. After attacking Mikasa and then oh. knocking himself out, that's the end of the mission. And we pop another trophy for completing 25% of the gallery. This fast progression of completing the gallery really doesn't last too long. Now the objective is clear. We need to protect Eren while he tries to get out of the state he is in. Armin get eventually gets on top of Eren and tries to talk some sense into him. And then... Now the objective is simple. Defend Eren while he tries to plug the wall. And then as Eren plugs the wall, we get the trophy for beating chapter one. Now playing as Captain Levi, the fidget spinner himself, and he's easily the best character in the game, as I'm sure you can imagine. We're now doing the things that he and the scouts were doing while Eren and Cole were dealing with the boulder. And there's actually a trophy for killing a titan with Levi, which is kind of funny. While going through the first Levi mission, we unlock a trophy for using a decisive action. These are basically stat boosts where for a time you're faster, you you deal more damage, you know, all that good stuff. Now quickly time to meet up with some of the other scouts, including the Levi squad, Hanji, who loves Titans, Mike, who can smell Titans, and Erwin, who's, well, he's just a chad, to be honest. On to the next mission, Hanji wants to potentially study a Titan, so the objective is to capture one, despite how much Erwin says no. While doing this mission on easily the worst map in the game, it's literally an open field, so ODM use, <laughs> literally cannot be done. But while doing this mission, we complete our 30th side mission and pop a trophy. Anji then shows off this device to Erwin, showing how she would potentially capture a titan, and Erwin actually agrees and goes along with the plan. Now time to capture the titan is so annoying to do. It's like they're playing hot potato on whether or not they want to come after you, but after a few minutes of sheer annoyance, he eventually gets captured. On to the next mission, we pop a quick trophy for chopping a hundred body parts. Then once we finally get to the gate, we notice that the gate has been 
been breached. We try and rush through it, but we are blocked by a boulder. We then quickly defeat all the titans that surround us, and the mission is completed. We then cut back to Armin, trying to get Eren out of his titan, and as we're about to get devoured by two titans, Levi the fidget spinner himself comes in and saves the day. And after that cutscene is concluded, we have beaten yeah. chapter two. Now on to chapter three, Eren is basically up for trial, deciding whether or not he should live or die. The scouts want him in their garrison, potentially using his titan abilities in order to fight off other titans and then potentially plug up wall maria the wall that was breached by the colossal titan levi has to take drastic actions and beat Eren to a pulp to prove that if he acts up in his titan form Levi can very easily dispose of him. Then on to the next mission, we sadly say goodbye to 100 allies and pop a trophy. And then we take down the final Titan and beat the mission. Now on to the next one, we advance forward and this mysterious Titan appears to be running at us at full pace. Two scouts try to take her out, but she somehow catches them and takes them out. And Armin then points out that she's not an abnormal. She has intelligence. She's kind of like Eren. And I gotta mention, because I haven't mentioned anything about the anime yet, I will always remember my reaction to seeing the female Titan for the first time and how it is still genuinely one of the scariest things about this anime. Just seeing how fast and intelligent she was when you used the Titans while well, doing this and seeing how she was acting with Armin and just her theme as well, it's, it's just so good. Now the female titan is running off and we need to stop her. We're playing as Armin and the strategy here is to let Reiner and Jean do most of the work and you chip away at her health here and there. We cut back to Levi and after we see some smoke, Levi tells us to draw our swords and then almost immediately, the female titan appears and starts off another chase. Now it's this mission where we need Eren to reach a certain point in the mission before the female titan catches him. And after a lot of titan killing and a lot of female slashing, we reach the end of the mission. We reach the end and it turns out Erwin had a plan all along and he was trying to capture the female titan. Now next up is Armin and we need to keep the titans from entering the forest so this mission is another slaughter mission where we kill a lot of titans. Upon finishing that mission it ends rather weirdly. That titan scream which then draws in all of the surrounding titans and the titans absolutely demolish the female titan. Back with Eren and the Levi squad, we notice another scout off in the distance, potentially thinking that it's Levi, but then... And then the female titan reappears. Now the game really doesn't explain that well how she appears, so I'll just let Eren from the show explain. We saw the female titan get eaten. We actually see the person inside suffer the same fate. I didn't. We're dealing with someone like Eren, someone who regenerates in and out of Titan form. Suppose that person equipped themselves with ODM gear in advance. Suppose further that they're also disguised in one of our uniforms. How do you ferret out the enemy when they're one of your own? Now playing as Eren with the Levi squad, we need to first take down the Titan's legs, which we do rather easily. But then one by one, the female Titan just takes down all of the Levi squads and Eren just absolutely loses it. And I will forever have chills just watching Eren transform you. It's just so damn good. I don't know when this video turned into a Attack on Titan retrospective, but here we are. After a few punches and a few throws, we take down the female Titan. But after one very quick kick... Oh. The Titan seemingly eats Eren and Mikasa can just lock on lifeless and the Titan then just runs off. Now playing as Levi, Mikasa says that the Titan didn't swallow Eren and he is just sitting on her tongue. So Levi decides to do what he is well known for and that's just be unbelievably quick at cutting up the female Titan. After rescuing Eren, the scouts return to the wall, hearing just so much criticism from the civilians, mainly saying that the mission was all for nothing all of the lives that were lost were for nothing. On to the next mission, Eren is once again ordered to be executed. However, Armin, Mikasa, and Eren turn to Annie to help them sneak out of the district, and Annie actually accepts. The trio attempt to lead Annie down a tunnel, but she just doesn't want to go in since she's afraid, I guess. But if you guys couldn't tell by now, she is the female Titan, and if you're in that tight of a space, it can be hard to transform into a Titan. Mikasa confronts her before Annie just starts laughing. Shh. 
My guess for the laugh is now she just doesn't have to pretend anymore. She can just be herself. She can just be a titan shifter. She goes to transform, but Armin fires off a shot. And here is where the show and the game just lose me. Look at how much time she has to transform. And she just doesn't do it. After being surrounded, we cut no pun intended, to her finger, and her ring has a very small blade on it that she uses to transform. And now it's time to take down the female titan once again. We're finding her as human Eren since he's having some trouble transforming, but we eventually take her down. But after fighting his inner demons, he is eventually able to transform. <laughs> And then it's another fist fight with Annie. These fights are really easy on this difficulty. Could potentially give you some trouble on the next difficulty. But for now, it's so much fun just fighting her as a titan. After defeating Annie, she tries to scale the wall in order to escape. But Mikasa puts a very quick stop to that. And Eren bites at her nape in order to bring her out of her titan. And that's the end of chapter 3. Now, after finishing chapter 3, I start doing some of these survey missions. These survey missions are just your side missions. Your, your little mini missions, you so to speak. Oh, God. Gonna do all the survey missions now. I pop a few trophies here, like having 100 allies join you, completing 10 missions without taking damage. And you'll also run into these dire subjugate. I'm just gonna call them dire titans, just because it's just easier. But you'll run into these as well after you've beaten the game. Why is the fucking armor titan you? Um, what? Which is what causes you to do a second playthrough, because now you have to beat all the dire titans in the game, which we're gonna do now. We pop a quick trophy for completing 10 requests. I'm not gonna touch on the requests until we start our true attack mode since your requests don't carry over between difficulties and to be honest it's just better to do them on true attack mode and i'll explain why in a little bit and then we beat our first dire titan trust me you'll be killing so many more of them after completing the first set of survey missions yes i said the first set we can finally start the epilogue. The easiest way to explain the epilogue is still kind of follows season two. It's a bit weird. So the scouts have been split up into different areas. And while trying to rid this village of the Titans, we see our first encounter of the Beast Titan. Hey, finally get to see the Beast Titan. I thought he wasn't going to be in this game, so that's pretty cool. And oh my god, is he annoying to kill. Since he's full of fur, your attacks don't do anything until you set him on fire. So just, I hope you have some Molotovs ready. Now, after beating that mission, I was hoping to just advance into the next mission, but I was greatly mistaken. Now, if you were just casually playing this game, here's where you'd probably have an issue with this game. If you're going for the Platinum, it's not too big of an issue, but in order to progress through the prologue, you have to do 90% of the survey missions. Oh, this is a grind. I gotta do all these now before I do the next mission. Oh, that's some level padding, I gotta say, game. And the survey missions are basically battles you've already done on maps you've already played on. So if you want to finish this game, this just extends the playtime. In true anime sense, this is filler. Which is strange since in Attack on Titan, there's basically no filler. Completing our next survey mission has us unlock 50% of the gallery. We also finally kill a thousand enemies. And then completing this survey mission has us completed 25% of the survey missions. Only 25%, huh? I then finally reach max character rank with a character, and of course, it is Levi. Then we have 100 allies join us, and oh look, another trophy. Now, true attack mode, as I said, can be a little bit more difficult if you're not ready, but I tried to just fight a dire titan here and it's the smiling titan. And I just love that she's in this game as an actual titan you can fight. Even if in this case we rewrite the entire story as she kills Levi. <laughs> but onto the next epilogue mission, we repel the beast titan once again and then complete 50% of the survey missions. Then we do a few more survey missions, spend 100,000 funds. I think by the end of the game we spend well over 4 million, so this is pretty much child's play. Now after beating what seems like 60 damn survey missions, we finally get to play the final mission. I, for some reason, skipped this cutscene, and I really wasn't expecting what was going to happen. Holy shit! <laughs> I should have watched the cutscene. The final mission is really cool, taking down the Colossal Titan. You attack his limbs, then you attack his stomach, and then you attack his neck. For being the Colossal Titan, it is quite an easy fight, I'm not going to lie. And of course, beating this mission grants us the epilogue trophy. Now, before jumping into the next playthrough, I'm going to quickly... S rank all the missions. To S rank a mission, there are only three parameters. They are the side missions, 
Titan kills and beat the game in under a certain amount of time. And they're all really easy to obtain in these missions. Looking back on it, to be honest, I don't think this step is actually necessary since the amount of times you're going to be replaying these missions, getting an S rank will just come naturally, to be honest. We then quickly take down the armored Titan for what seems like the 27th time. Use 100 items, which I somehow haven't done already. And then we finally kill all of our dire Titans in attack mode. So I guess you can count that as playthrough two done. And then we finally finish all the survey missions but trust me, we will be seeing these again. Now we're going to be officially starting our third playthrough on a true attack mode. The difference is in this mode and the original difficulty is that your gas and your blades run out a lot quicker. Titans are a lot more aware and quick. And of course, they have a lot more health. We're going to try and get through this mode as quickly as possible. We get 30 focus dodges while going through this game. I think by the end of this playthrough, I had well over 100 of them. We're just advancing through this game as quickly as possible. We take down the armor Titan as Titan Eren in the exact same way as the anime, <laughs> which is quite a nice touch. And here at 6 in the morning when I recorded this, I don't know why I was up at that early, but it hit me. So it's only really just hit me how bad this grind is when I realized you have to upgrade every single piece of equipment. Like I've upgraded my sword. Go from Mark II to Mark III is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this is only, it's only just hit me. This, this grind is probably gonna take like, <laughs> so many hours. We beat Annie once again. And once again, we have to do all the survey missions again to get to through the epilogue. Why? <laughs> now, here's what I'll start mentioning in the requests since now they actually mean something. There are 81 requests to do in total and there are 27 categories of quests that you have to do ranging from different characters. These could be kill titans in a certain way, kill particular titans, have allies join you, just the standard busy stuff, to be honest. It is truly better to do these on true attack mode since for every three you complete, you get 100,000 funds and by the end of this game you will need a lot of funds whether that's buying materials or just upgrading weapons and even as much as i despise doing the survey missions on true attack mode it is very worth your time doing them since the amount of money that you get for doing them on true attack mode is insane while grinding the survey missions once again it is best to try and beat the dire titans while you're there since it can make the monstrous grind at the end of the game just a little bit less annoying and we also hit level 99 in <laughs> in the game i think if it wasn't capped i'll have probably hit 150 by the time i got done with this platinum also there's this set that you need to buy which is the perfect perfected set and as you can imagine it's the best set in the game but as you can imagine the materials you need are insane you will be playing these same missions over and over and over again getting these damn materials i was quite literally praying to ymir herself hoping to get these stupid materials i was even asking my stream chat to pray which by the way twitch link in the description come give me a follow all right lads you know the deal prayers ready but then after beating true attack mode again it's not really too difficult it's just another time sink in this game the dreaded cycle of upgrading then going to grind one mission for an hour to get 10 items to then upgrading again to then grinding another mission for another hour to get the materials you need. 77 blades, 72 canisters, and 74 ODM gear. 223 items to craft to 100% the gallery. Y you couldn't have just stopped at 100. I, I thought this grind was bad but I didn't think it was this bad. Like, for example, I must have chopped off this beast titan's legs about 60 times just to get enough damn ominous crystals. Just for example, take the perfected ODM gear. You see those large ultra-hardened crystals? This is the rarest and most used item in the game. You have to beat the same mission over and over again, beating down these stupid muscle dire titans with Sasha since Sasha gives you a boost on getting rare materials. It is so freaking bad. This was one of the last items I needed to upgrade, and I am literally praying that the final upgrade for this item isn't going to set me back another three hours. <laughs> Don't be trash. Don't be trash. Actually, not as bad as I thought it'd be. But hey, we finally finished all the blades. And we actually finished all 81 requests and pop that damn trophy. Oh my god, thank god. Now, all I need now for the platinum is 20 large ultra hardened crystals. And just this is how it went. Six? Oh boy, the game is being cheeky to me. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. You are not nice. Ooh. 
We go to do the final weapon upgrade. Please, all that. Please, please, please. Um. Uh, <laughs> game. <laughs> yes. If this happens to you, and trust me, I was panicking, and the platinum doesn't pop, just finish a mission so the game will just save, and <laughs> this happens. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm going to destroy them every last one that's on this earth. That's the sub version. The dub version's better. Now, I have gone through this entire video without mentioning my love for Attack on Titan. And so this is where I just pour my heart out. This series means so much to me. Absolutely everything about this series I, is damn near flawless, in my opinion. This show now, I think, is up there with not just one of the greatest animes that has ever been made, but also, I, I'd argue, one of the best shows ever made. Every time I think that this show cannot get any better, it tops itself, and I don't know how they keep doing it every season. Of course, two weeks ago, roughly, the show ended, and it genuinely felt like there was a hole left that I don't know what can fill, because... This show is just that damn special. Just thank you, Isayama. Thank you, Wit. Thank you, Mappa. Just thank you, anyone who had any involvement with creating the manga and then, of course, the show. And even this game. Like, this game isn't great by any means, but it's just another way you can relive the Attack on Titan story. And even in the second game, it goes up to season three with the DLC, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you made it through me pouring my heart out for Attack on Titan, then click you for another platinum. <laughs>